Hi everyone. I hope your preparations of the upcoming NABARD exam are going on well and in full steam. Today we are going to talk about uh, a very important issue and a topic where a lot of students are getting mixed up. A lot of students are getting confused. A lot of students are not able to understand and realize what to do and what not to do. And that is the balance between qualifying versus merit subjects. I'm assuming that you know what are the qualifying subjects and what are the merit subjects when it comes to phase one of NABARD 2022. Specifically, we are talking only about phase one because in phase two, as you all must be aware, all the subjects are merit subjects. There is no qualifying. When it comes to phase one, let's assume that you are uh, studying for six days in a week and six hours every day. That means you have a total of 36 hours in a week. Okay. We have divided these 36 hours into one third and two third saying that you spend two third of the time on merit subjects and one third of the time on qualifying subjects. Some of you might think and might say, sir, one third is too much. We just have to qualify. The reason I'm not ignoring these qualifying subjects is very simple. The level of questions in quant reasoning and English in RBI 2022 was very high and therefore it is expected that in NABARD also the level of quant reasoning English might go up. For the namesake they are called qualifying but in reality they, be, they might become very difficult for a lot of students to qualify. Something that has been happening in UPSC also specifically in CSAT in prelims. Therefore, we cannot ignore the qualifying subjects, but at the same time, we have to understand that we cannot spend too much time on these qualifying subjects as well, because if we do, then we might not be able to clear the cutoff. Therefore, Buddha's approach, try and create the right balance so that you don't end up spending too much time or too little time on these subjects. Keeping that in mind, one third time can be allocated to qualifying subjects and the remaining two third time can be allocated to the merit subjects. One third of six hours comes out to be two hours per day and two third of six hours comes out to be four hours per day. So you spend about two hours per day on qualifying subjects, one subject at a time. Please remember that. Do gante mein aap sare subjects nahi kar sakte. You have to pick up one subject at a time. At the same time, you pick up uh, any one of these three subjects for quali for merit and spend about four hours per day on these subjects. Let's start with the qualifying subjects and then I'll come to the merit subjects. Qualifying mein there are these five subjects, quant, reasoning, English, decision making, computer, awareness. If you have already done the basics of quant, then you do practice and you save some time. Otherwise, if you're not done with the basics also, then a maximum of one week can be allocated to quant because we don't have that much time. We just have about 40, 45 days left. When it comes to reasoning, you follow the same approach. If you're done with the concepts, you focus on practicing through mocks, both sectional mocks uh, practicing questions as well as comprehensive mocks. If not, a maximum of one week can be allocated to reasoning. English is comparatively easier, so you can spend about three days on English, the basics of English, and then you can follow it up with practice. Decision making can be an Achilles heel, can be difficult in the upcoming examination. That's why Chetan sir will be taking some sessions. You can spend a maximum of three days on decision making because there is no end to what you can and cannot cover in decision making. If you start covering everything, you might end up spending more than a week on it. You have to limit yourself. In computer awareness, probably one of the easiest areas, two to four hours are more than enough. We all are tech savvy. We understand how computers work. The basics of it should not be difficult to understand and remember. So this is how you move forward with the qualifying subjects, spend about two hours every day. Once you're done with the concepts, then you move towards practicing. You practice as much as possible. In two hours, you can easily write one test every day as well. Okay. Let's come to the merit part of phase one. You're spending about four hours per day. What all are the things that we have to do? 
Number one, you have to do syllabus of ARD and ESI. Forget about the current affairs of ARD and ESI here. I have mixed the entire current affairs, combined the entire current affairs together here so that it becomes a lot more easy for you to remember how to cover it and be able to cover it. So when it comes to ARD and ESI, your first objective is going to be to cover the syllabus. For all the enrolled students, I'm already taking live classes. ARD, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, ESI, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That means Monday to Saturday, you have live classes in the evening every day. So you're spending about two hours every day on these live classes. Through these, you can easily cover the entire syllabus of ARD and ESI. Revision jo hum karayenge, wo to alag se hoga. That is not a point of discussion here. You can cover this through your uh, basic books as well. Aapne basic books padhi hoi hai, aap unhi se revise bhi kar sakte ho. When it comes to current affairs, this is what you have to cover and you have to pick it up one by one. Ek ek karke aapko uthana hai. What all do you need to cover? Number one, government scheme, one of the most important. I would want to say that you start with the government schemes. The ministries which are related with agriculture and rural development, like the environment, water, social welfare, agriculture, rural development, these ministries you will take. But eventually, your objective has to be to cover all the schemes before phase one itself. If you want to be a topper, if you want to clear the examination with certainty, then you have to cover all the schemes. You cannot skip anything. Many last session maybe bolada. If you apply shortcuts, you might end up wasting your time and you might have to face failure. So make sure that you are assuming and you are already deciding that I have to cover all the schemes, starting with the most important ministries. That is very logical, but eventually covering all the schemes. Second is PIB current, jo aapko ek saal ka target karna hai. Start with the latest six months. That means the exam is in September. So August, July, June, May, uh, April, March. These are the six months. If you're done with these six months in time, then you move back further. Otherwise, you can stop at six months also. The target is one year eventually. ARD current, six months is uh, more than enough. Even four months should be good. Not more than that. Annual reports. This is very important. All the reports which I have given you in your course, please cover it. If you are preparing on your own, you can just Google major annual reports. You will get many and you should be covering those. There are questions The fifth one is spotlight that you have to cover. Four to six months, not more than that. Ek saal tak karne ki zarurat nahi hai, four to six months will do. And the last is Kurukshetra. This is something that you have to uh, give least importance, sabse kam importance deni hai, because you might read it, but you will not find many questions from Kurukshetra coming in the examination. It is more useful in phase two. Phase one mein kuch zada use nahi hai. So these are the six headings under which you have to cover current affairs. Remember, you can cover them one by one only, and that is the right approach. You spend about one week on government schemes, about uh, three to four days on PIB current of six months, about one day on ARD current, annual reports about a week, spotlight four to six months about a week, and Kurukshetra mein ek do din mein dekhega, not more than that. So this is how you try and cover the entire thing in about 30 days, and then you use the last 10 to 15 days in revising all these six headings, okay? So this is how you should be covering the entire syllabus plus current affairs for both qualifying as well as merit section in the next uh, 45 days. I hope it is clear. Koi doubt hai aapke andar, whatever your thoughts are, you can mention it in the comment section below. I will try and pick them up. I will try and discuss them in the next video also. Okay. I'll see you very, very soon, guys. All the very best. Take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.